Winning a championship at any level athletically is one of the greatest feelings you could ever have. Obviously, I feel bad for the guys on the other side of the ice, but I got to soak in the moment of winning a championship for the Owen Sound attack. Love my teammates. Love the fact that we got it done together. And, of course, I didn't play too bad being able to get drafted number two overall to the LA Kings. And it really hits you as you're part of something bigger than yourself. The moment you step into that NHL locker room and realize everything that you've accomplished has gotten you to this point. And every teammate, every coach that you've ever had, every mentor that you've ever had has played a role, an integral role, in getting you to this point. And I'm very humbled by that. I'm very, very humbled by that. And I know that when I step on the ice for the first time in an LA Kings uniform, it's really going to hit me, knowing that I was a part of something bigger than myself. Other people had a lot to help me with and, uh, and get me to this point. So I owe it to myself and I owe it to them to give every single thing that I have on the ice. And that's going to be my play style. That's going to be how I operate. Might not be making a ton of money the first three years of my entry-level contract, and that's okay. It's not about the money. It's about the love of the game, and I know that uh, I'm going to provide some spark on offense for this LA Kings team that hasn't been good for a couple seasons. We've had a lot of success, though, in the last maybe five years, but in the last maybe one or two, not so much. And we're kind of in a lucky spot here where I'm going to be able to play with Guys like Anza Kopitar, Jeff Carter, Burakovsky, Jonathan Quick. It's going to be a really fun time here out in L.A. And I know that my coach, Coach Nightingale, thinks I'm going for the Calder Trophy. That's not really who I am there, Coach. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to do my best to go get one. But I think my head is at more of a place where I want to be a pro's pro. I want to be a good teammate. I want to be a guy that's going to step in and hit the ice and uh, grind my way to being the best. And that's just who I've always been. That's who I am. That might be my kind of my brother Caden's role or his idea of himself, but not me. I just want to step in and do my job. Mark andre Fleury making a save here on the first shot of the preseason, and it goes to me. I couldn't be more honored uh, to take that first shot, but Mark andre Fleury being the decorated goalie that he is, I got to maybe put a little bit more of a competitive shot on him to get it home. We got a little bit of a rush here. I'm going to take this shot. I take a big hit. I, I pay for that one. Putting a slap shot on Flurry, but he's going to make the save anyway. Got to get back here on defense. Get a little poke check action going. Oh, that's going to do a job. It's going to be doing enough to cause a little stir, cause a little commotion there. But uh, we can't get we can't get back into the offensive zone there. Shift is over. First shift wasn't too bad. I was actually impressed with our first shift. Second shift though. Here we go. Back out on the ice. A little dipsy do past the teammate. Oh, he's going to get a shot off and it's going to be a goal. Or is it? Ref waves it off. Says that we've got a little bit too much action going on in the in the crease. And a uh, little goalie interference there. So we're going to wave it off. That would have been my first points in the NHL. Preseason action anyway. Here's a shot. And totally whiffed here. But it's going to work out anyway. Brandon Sad gets the goal. From an assist from Kempe. Love it. Brandon Sad with the goal. So my shot, even though it was a little off, still got the job done. I get a shot here, a little weak, little wrist shot. Got to be better. Got to do a little bit better. Mark andre Fleury is not going to let that just go in. I mean, that's just too easy. We get another goal here, and I get another assist registered to me. Got to love that. It's 2 nothing here early in the preseason. First period, and then we get another goal here for for the game, but it's going to go to Las Vegas. Defensively, I wasn't really in a good spot there. I probably need to be a little bit more helpful on that end, but a little slap shot, that's a little bit more of a competitive competitive shot on Marc-Andre Fleury. Not a great one, but it was a little bit more competitive, and right there, that was a, that was a good competitive shot there too, but... You know, Flurry, you got to keep peppering him. You got to keep peppering him. Maybe something happens, but we get a little poke check action. I got a play here, a little fake. Oh, I totally missed. Oh, my God, I totally missed. Oh, that's going to eat me alive. I had that. Oh, I had that upper left corner. I had the blocker side wide open for me, and I just totally whiffed. But good pass down low into the slot. And then Kempe is going to get a goal here. I've got another assist attached onto my name today. Three assists 
I've been a part of every single goal for this Kings team. And now we've got a potential move out here, a little breakout here. I want the puck. Give it to me. We got third period. Give it to me. I can get a shot off. Ugh. Whiffed. Whiffed, whiffed, whiffed. We're going OT in preseason action against the Las Vegas Golden Knights. I got a breakout here, pass down low to teammate. They're not going to be able to get the shot off. Kempe can't get it either. I actually re-corral it here, and we got a shot. Oh, I had the upper corner. Ah, I got to get stronger. I got to get stronger. Last couple seconds in OT. Seven seconds. I'm watching that clock. We got to get a shot off here. We got to get a shot off. Oh, it got tipped. It got tipped, but oh, Flurry almost gave it back to me. That would have been clutch. He almost gave it back to me. Could have had another attempt there for a goal, a game winner. Man, I was really looking forward to that. But we're going to a shootout here in Las Vegas. And I'm actually up first. I'm actually up first. Yeah, they're calling my name here for the shootout. I'm going to make a move on this vet. Oh, goal! I scored! What? Ref said I stopped. The referee said I stopped, so they're not going to count my goal. But it did go in. I did fool Marc-Andre Fleury. Luckily, Jonathan Quick makes a stop here. We've got two shot attempts that haven't gone in, but this one does. We got a goal in the shootout. Could win this thing. That was the move that I actually wanted on Fleury, but it didn't work. We could win this thing as long as Jay Quick makes a stop. He does. Kings get the win in preseason action. I couldn't be more proud of how I played. Obviously, our team played very well to put the puck in the net, but I had 18 shots today. <laughs> I could get used to that. I could get used to getting wins. I could get used to being a big part of the offense. I could get used to all the shots as well, but, you know, the assists were nice. The points were nice. Coach Nightingale loves... My production, he wants it to happen again here against the Arizona Coyotes, so we got to make that happen. This is a team, Arizona, they're all right. They're pretty decent. I think we can get the W, though. We'll have to see how it all goes, but here's a big hit. That's what I love. He just got wall-checked, baby. I think I might have self-branded that. But, hey, it's hockey. That's, that was my nickname in high school. It was Mr. Wall-check. Not for my dad. They used to not call my dad Mr. Walchek. They used to call me Mr. Walchek. But Mr. Walchek, uh, you got to get back here on defense. Your guys are not playing very well. Um, that was a very bad defensive uh, output there. But So Arizona's going to get a goal here early. one nothing in the first period. But I make a mistake here. Give me the freaking puck. And I make a mistake. And uh, my team play is kind of going down the drain here. So I get a hooking penalty. But unfortunately. Fortunately for Arizona, they can't capitalize on their own power play, but they capitalize here as soon as I get back on the ice. And uh, that's another goal for Arizona. It's currently three to nothing, and I've got a shot here. Oh, I don't get it. I don't put it home. I had another opportunity to get my first goal of the preseason, and it didn't happen. I'm trying to find teammates and trying to set people up, I'm trying to make some things happen here, and. It's just, it's just not, it's not good right now. I think I might be freaking out a little bit. Oh, I got a shot. I got a potential goal here. Do we got a shot? I kick it out to Kopitar, but he can't find it. So I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of business here on, on my end with uh, setting guys up, but I just can't come through when the puck is in my hands to put it in the back of the net. I'm still searching for that first goal. Three to nothing. Quick made a nice play, but we've got a breakout here. A little two-on-two -two action. Nice move, Anze. Kopitar with the score. We're getting right back in this thing. Oh, that's Tanev. That's Tanev with the goal, by the way. So, hey, I'm still getting used to my teammates. <laughs> still getting used to my teammates. Here, we got another shot. I still can't buy a goal right now. I still can't find it. It's starting to get a little bit frustrating. Three to one. I've got another open shot. I got another open area for the shot. I can't put it home, but the offense gets a score, and that's all that matters. We get a goal. It's three to two. Third period. Start of the third period. We got to get another quickie. 
Got another, get, a, get another quick goal, but that's not going to help either. That's definitely not going to help. Arizona scores. Nice little moves down low by Quick, and they get the job done. But look at this move. Unbelievable move there. I kick it out here to Kopitar. He's going to get the goal. I got another assist tallied onto my name here. And uh, that's, that's a nice little dipsy do, my friends. I, I love my playmaking, and uh, so does Anza Kopitar, our captain. That's the guy that I really want to impress. It's currently 5-3, to three and our goalie is pulled. This shot was online, but it's going to get blocked. It's going to get deflected off of somebody's skate. And we got we just got to get we got an extra attacker. We got to get something on net, and it doesn't happen for us. Arizona's going to get another goal, an empty netter, and that's going to be your pretty much your final six to three. We didn't get it done. Oh hey, by the way, the game's not over. Quit. You got to stop quitting. Don't quit. Don't quit. We got a we got a job to do here. Six to three game, and Kopitar goes down. He gets. Hit big time. Look at this play. It gets bad to worse. Goes from bad to worse. Kopitar gonna get hurt. We lose the game in preseason. Our season could be lost without uh, Anza Kopitar here. But he does come back. He does come back a couple games later. So he comes back and we're doing all right. We're doing all right here against the Anaheim Ducks. We get another goal. Set up by yours truly. I get a little assist. I get another assist. Back to Anzi Kopitar. So he's feeling fine. He's feeling fine. He, he talked to me a little bit later after that game. He, he just had the wind knocked out of him. Had to miss a few games. Team wanted to rest him up. Didn't feel like there was a point in playing him in preseason at that point. But we're near the we're nearing the end of preseason, so it kind of makes sense that he's out here. We got another goal and another assist. For Brady Walchek. That's me. I'm referring to myself in the third person. It's 5-4 to four in the third period, and it's a tie game now. Anaheim has come all the way back. Sherwood with the goal. It's 5-5. Five to freaking five. Can we just stop with the goals? Can we, like, just finish them? Can we just get this done, please? 5-5 five to five here with five minutes in the third period. And, oh, we got an offsides, but I get the shot off. I didn't hear the whistle. Dude, bro, I didn't hear the whistle. Oh, fine, fine. You want to go? Let's go. You got the gloves off anyway? Let's go. I've got a lot of practice with this with Caden, my brother. He and I got into a lot of these. So you know what, dude? Let's go. Gloves are off. I can take a few hits. I'm a, I'm a bigger body than you. Let's go. You got about maybe one more hit. One more punch. Let's go. <clears throat> Two more punches. You're tough. You're tough. But not tougher than me. I had a lot to deal with my football playing quarterback brother. Hopefully that pumps the team up. I didn't hear the whistle. I didn't hear the whistle. I'm, I'm going at it like I didn't hear the whistle. It was an offsides call, but he must have gotten pissed off that I, I took an unnecessary shot on his goalie. But 5-5 five, five here in overtime. I take a bad penalty. I was just trying to make a play, keep the puck in their zone, and get something going on offense, and I take out my frustration here. Towards their bench, no less. That made me feel better. That made me feel good. That made up for the penalty, at least. But I'm going to go to the sin bin here, and uh, that, that puts my team at a disadvantage. But luckily, luckily, they don't score. 18 and a half seconds here in OT, and I take the puck. I got a green shot. It's not there for me. It's not there for me. But we got another attempt here. little backhander. No good. Nine seconds to go. They clear it on the power play. A little four on three. I'm all the way up here. I'm all the way up here. We got a bounce pass off the boards. I got to get a shot off. And time expires. That was a great defensive play to stop the directional shot. They just deflected it just a little bit. I couldn't get a totally, totally clean shot. We will go to a shootout. And Anza Kopitar is going to score for us here in our first shot attempt. Anaheim will go with their attempt here, and they don't get it. So Jonathan Quick gets the stop. We can put it away, though. If I can get a goal here, we can put it away, officially. We can put it away. We can get two goals to their two nuns, and then I score again. But the refs, dude, I got to work on this. They're saying I stopped. I stopped my forward momentum, and that's frustrating because I could have put it away. 
But here's Stall. He is going to be stalled. And Jonathan Quick gets another shootout stop. We get another shootout win. I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for the preseason. Our preseason is finished up. And I end up not scoring a single goal on the first line. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. But you know what? I am uh, I'm a little nervous here because I haven't scored. I'm, I've got a little goal drought going on right now. I'm feeling a little anxious. It's our first NHL regular season game against the San Jose Sharks. Division rival. And we let up an early goal here. It's one to one though. It's one to one. So we end up scoring and getting a goal back here in the first period. But I'm still looking for mine. I'm still looking for my very first goal. I've got a couple points in the preseason, right? I got, I got a, I, I'm playing well with my teammates, but I got to get a goal. I got to get the monkey off my back here. 1-1. One, one. I make a little slick pass here. We got a chance. Here's a shot, and it's going to be off the rebound and a goal. I get another assist. I, again, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it because it's team success, ultimately. Burkovsky gets the goal, his first of the season. All started with a pass. From yours truly. Two to one game. I've got, oh, and that's a slick pass there. I got a shot on a breakaway. Oh, it was a good one. It's a good one, but I, again, I can't put it in the net. We got a shot here. Deflection. I got a, I got a clean hit lined up, but oh, I'm wide open. Give it to me. First NHL goal. Crowd's going absolutely wild, and oh, that felt good. That felt good. I had to read my teammate perfectly, and everybody's giving me a bunch of hugs. Congratulations. Save the puck, guys. Save the puck. That, uh, that one felt really good. First goal of the season for for me, and uh, on Frederick Anderson, no less. He's, he's a vet, right? He's a, he's a good player. He's a good goalie. I couldn't be happier against the San Jose Sharks. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life and uh, had a little dipsy do. So, hey, Burakovsky, I gave him one. He gives me one back. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Your first goal, you, you hope it's going to be like real flashy, but this one was pretty cool, right? I had the goalie out in uh, not the not a good spot, not a good position, and now we're just feeling it right now. Third period, and we get another goal for Burakovsky. Nice pass again by yours truly. A little one-time action. And it's like once you get your first goal, it's like why stop? Why stop? Little backhand goal here. Two goals. Man, I'm feeling it now. It must be something about the crowd. It must be something about getting the first goal off your back. But it's like what they say on YouTube. I've heard I've heard YouTubers. I have I have friends that are YouTubers. They say once you get your first 1,000, it just goes easier from that point on, right? So after you get your first goal. It, it, it just starts getting easier. But third period, 5-3, to three, trying to get an extra attacker out there. They've got an empty net, and I'm looking for my opportunity for a hat trick. Come on, give me a hat trick. I've got a wide open shot. Let's go. Hat trick. First game ever in the NHL, and I score three goals in my debut. Most people want to probably rip me that it was an empty net. But I got a ton of people, a ton of LA Kings fans going to throw the hats out there and tell me, yeah, it's a hat trick. And it was a power play variety, of course, as the uh, empty net was out there. Got to love it. Got to love it. But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. It's a 6-3 to three game, and I get a little big hit here. And we're going to do the same thing to get another goal. I got four goals today. Four goals. So anybody that wants to rip me saying that it wasn't a true hat trick, well, I did. I got one empty netter, and I got three true goals. There you go. And it was the same play off of the first one. Skate right in front of the net. Teammate's going to find you. Get him out of position. And what was cool about this one even better, what made this one even sweeter, was the hit that I laid on that guy to get in position to get that goal. Kings win. We played awesome. Scored a bunch of goals tonight against a rival San Jose Sharks team, and uh, fans are lit. It's out. It's it's lit out here. Seven to three final against San Jose. Gotta love it. But here's that big hit. I'm always gonna remember this one. Big hit, and then getting a true hat trick in front of Frederick Anderson. Gotta love that top shelf baby. So we played well. I'm excited for the rest of the season. Can't wait to score even more goals. 
and really push this team to the playoffs and maybe even eventually the Stanley Cup. Whoa, that's that's talking a big game, but hopefully we get there. Hopefully a Calder trophy is in the mix as well. Hey guys, it's GG9. Thank you for watching yet another episode of The Legend of Brady Walchek. I appreciate you guys' support. Letting you guys know that there is a Google form in the comment section and the description now that the video has gone final. Please go check that out, guys, if you're watching this in the live chat. This Google form is to kind of direct Brady Walchek's career. So based on the topics or the choices inside the Google form, you guys, as the viewers, get to choose what happens in the next episode. So whether he requests a trade, whether he plays more selfishly, takes a bunch of shots, whether he's going to be more of a playmaking type of player, that he's going to be a teammate, he's going to make the he's going to make more passes than he makes shots. Those type of options are going to be up on the Google form, so you guys can fill that out. Submit it takes less than maybe 20 seconds to fill out your submissions and then from that point I will take those and then I will make it happen in the next video and then uh, we can kind of see where Brady Walchek's career is going to go. So link to the Google form is in the description and the pinned comment and in the live chat now that the video has gone final. So guys leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you in the next one with your choices front and center for the next episode. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.